And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over some of the news that did just come out on today's stream, as well as predicting some players and going over some golden ticket stuff that we'll be releasing tomorrow. Now, let's open up this Twitch drop pack real quick, obviously, because we got that there. Maybe we get lucky and pull some fire out of these power-ups to find to it. We get a gold, a gold, and another gold. Um, not even, those are silvers. So, done with that. Now, guys, as you know, they did announce the release date of the NFL draft. They did kind of go over what's going to be going on with everything and kind of how golden tickets are going to be playing out for tomorrow as well. So let's get into all of that, guys. Super excited for everything. We are going to have two big days of content. First, we're going to get released the pre-release of the draft promo tomorrow morning, as well as then get golden tickets. So it's going to be a pretty exciting day tomorrow overall, to be quite honest with you guys. But guys, before we get into today's video, guys, if you have been enjoying the content, make sure you're down below. If you've been enjoying the videos, you're here every day, or you're here today, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to go, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. I really appreciate each and every one of you that liked the video. Takes a second, helps out a lot. And comment down below what you guys think of everything and some of your predictions for the NFL draft. Now, guys, from what they pretty much said is that the special stream will be going on tomorrow morning, April 16th, which is Thursday. So what I told you guys in yesterday's video was that I predicted the promo would come out this Friday, special stream tomorrow, and that is exactly what happened. I had a feeling it had to be that way just because the draft is the 23rd, I believe, which is like a week from today. So they kind of had to get the draft promo rolling a little bit, but hopefully it's like it is in the past. So guys, if it's like it's been in the past, it's probably going to be some undrafted free agent, uh, un undrafted free agent masters or undrafted masters, uh, late round masters, early round masters. So guys like, you know, Cam Newton, Tom Brady, Telvin Smith, um, Chris Harris Jr. Guys that were part of the draft, it could literally be anyone guys. Everyone that's been, everyone's been drafted, whether it be middle, late, early, undrafted. So it could be anyone that's ever been drafted in the NFL, but I'll just give you guys some examples of last year. So pretty self-explanatory for itself. As you guys do know, we will be getting the rookies. Now I predict they probably will be doing a pick system as they always do. Now, if they do a pick system, in my opinion, my personal opinion, the pick system's been kind of stupid in years past because to get the first overall pick last year, you need somewhere between like 30, 90 collectibles and you can only get like one per pack. So like you'd have to get like 30 packs if it was 30. And that only means that you'd have to get the same first overall pick 30 times straight. And that was the odds were unlikely. I think the math was like you had to open up like a thousand packs last year just to get like maybe I forgot what the math was, but it was like ridiculous how hard it was to get a first round pick or to get that many in a row. It just was like, it wasn't feasible at all. So I don't know if they're gonna go that route again. I personally hope they don't go that route. Hope they do some more fun. Like I said, I think the most fun thing would be 30 minutes before or the hour before the draft kicks off. They do a limited time like shoe type solo and you play it. And if you, sometimes you get coins and sometimes you get a draft pick. Now, whatever draft pick you get is going to be a nat player. You obviously can't sell it. But it would still be super fun. So, like, if you get Nat draft pick number nine, whoever goes number nine, you get, let's say, Nat draft pick number three, you get that player. Nat draft pick number one, you got super lucky, you get Joe Burrow, not an overall Nat. That could be so, in my opinion, that's just so cool. I hope they go that route. But that will be dropping, by the way, Friday morning, because tomorrow is a special stream. Please, we drop on Friday morning. So, really, we're going to be knowing everything about tomorrow morning. So, you'll know what's going on 24 hours from now. So, you, know, you don't have to predict too much. Now, to predict some cards, guys, I'm going to go over some cards that I think could be getting it. Now, I really don't think 99 overall cards will be getting it. Now, some guys that haven't gotten a card in a while, a guy that would make perfect sense for a draft promo because they did skip him over in the combine promo, which he usually gets a card, is Odell Beckham Jr. Odell Beckham usually gets a card for the combine. And his last card, I believe, I don't know what his last last card, I don't want to sound stupid here, but I know his harvest card was like a 92. I don't remember what his actual last card was. I feel like it was this one, but don't kill me in case there was another one that's not up on the block right now. But anyways... He is well deserving of a card. He hasn't had that many great cards this year. I would love to see a nice Odell draft card from the Giants that day. Hopefully, they put him on the Giants considering that's when he was drafted on. But either way, his power will still have it. I think that's a cool card. He'll be an early round type master. That'd be a great addition. Another guy who, you know, who never really gets some draft love, although he'd be a perfect mid-round master, would be Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson would be an awesome mid-round master. We get a really nice quarterback right about now. He has 97 team of the year, but this would be his final card to cap it off. I think that'd be a perfect addition. His last card would probably end up with a 90 speed, 94 throw power, 93 throw mid, 
97 third deep, probably 95 third short, 99 third on the run, and then like 92 third under pressure. Card would be super, super solid for a lot of people. I really think a Russell Wilson card would do wonders. And now, guys, a guy that usually gets a card, now I don't know if he's gonna get one, but he usually gets a later year, um, a card later in the year. And he is no, he's one of the undrafted ones, I believe. Chris Harris Jr. would be a solid one because he has the 96 free agency card. So it would be perfect to give him like a 98, 99 draft card and call it a year for him. Again, predicting these cards are super, super hard just because of the fact that these cards could be anyone in the NFL. But to, to describe for you guys, like there'll be early round masters, which you guys like Odell Beckham Jr., um, Deshaun Watson, Patrick Mahomes Watson would be a good one, uh, Baker Mayfield, Saquon Barkley, Christian McCaffrey, Leonard Fournette. You guys get the point. Early round guys. Now, middle round master guys like Russell Wilson, guys who just went in the middle. Guys who were like third rounders, fourth rounders, fifth rounder. Not, I, mean, I think fifth late. It'd be like late second, third, fourth, maybe fifth. And any guys who were drafted there would be like mid round masters. A like decent amount of running backs out of that out of those slots, to be honest with you guys. And then late round masters are guys who were, who were slept on, like Tom Brady. Like late fifth, sixth, seventh, guys who weren't supposed to be that great and ended up making a career for themselves. And then undrafted for agents like Chris Harris Jr., of course, who is a perfect example of an undrafted of an undrafted for agent. He didn't really didn't do much, but wasn't expected to do much, and ended up being a perennial Pro Bowl type player. So again, another awesome way to go about this. Now, guys, that pretty much wraps up those predictions because, like I said, it could be literally anyone who wants to give you guys an idea of how this works. And now for golden ticket predictions. So remember, guys, we got golden tickets coming out tomorrow. We're getting three, but it appears that they might be doing some little style of dropping in well it looks like this is what they're doing they're gonna be dropping the ea created players which i mean it's cool but at the same time that still means it's gonna last longer to get all the players that we created but it is what it is so for tomorrow so first off we already got mike uh mike vick he was part of my first predictions we got mike vick and we got who are the other ones we got mike vick and we got troy palomalu linebacker and kelvin benjamin so i think we're gonna get another quarterback tomorrow I don't think they're going to give us Lamar just yet. I think they might hold out in Lamar. I think we're probably, it's probably between RG3 or Cam Newton. I'm going to go Cam Newton. I think we're going to get Cam Newton tomorrow. So Cam Newton, there goes our quarterback. Now, I think we're probably going to get a running back as well tomorrow. I could see Ezekiel Elliott. That could, that could be a possibility. Ezekiel Elliott. So let's start with those two. Because the thing with this whole list is, it's kind of tough. I gotta do it based on an order of like how how well they're gonna keep things going because they obviously don't want to go every quarterback every week but they almost have to so it really just comes down to like what they're gonna do but cam newton's last card was his halloween card i believe this card as a golden ticket it's gonna be super super solid like i said let me take you over to some of those director screenshots show you guys some of the card stats that we could potentially be seeing and guys shout out to the director for letting me use this card i have asked before for you guys asking that Awesome YouTuber, awesome creator, awesome editor. Make sure to check his channel out. Subscribe to his channel. Go show some support, guys. Awesome guy. But let's head over to those screenshots. All right, guys, let's start with the Ezekiel Elliott. This is kind of what the card could be looking like. 95 speed, 96 Excel, 99 agility, 92 carrying, 78 catching, 92 elusiveness, 96 trucking, 98 break tackle. I think this is a perfect representation of an Ezekiel Elliott card. Chemmed up with Sprinter and John Madden. You could probably get a speed to 97, 98, which I wish was 99, but I don't anticipate them letting us get Zeke to 99 speed, which just kind of suck. The agility, yes, 99, that makes sense. The carrying is a little low, to be honest with you guys, but again, it's all based off their prior card. 78 catching, he's an underrated catcher, but that's not how Madden rates him, so you got to stick with the 78. Trucking perfect, and the break tackle would have gotten to 99. I do not think this will be an end game running back, personally. Saquon's better than this card. Barry's better than this card. I really just don't see a world where I end up using the Zeke, unless that Zeke gets a 97 speed. If he gets like a 96, 97 speed, a different ball game, but his, his cell doesn't hit 99. His trucking is on the 99, although you can get it there. His carrying is not that great. He just seems like a well-rounded, worse version of all the other running backs I've had. So that would not be my choice. Then we got Cam Newton, 96 speed, 99 throw power, 95 throw short, 92 throw mid, 92 throw deep, 99 throw under pressure, 97 throw under the run, and 99 play action. Now, overall, guys, in my opinion, this Cam Newton could be really good if these stats are accurate. I don't think he'll have a 96, uh, 96 speed, though. I think he'll probably end up with like a 90 flat. 91 flat i don't it's, it was 96 guys this would be one of the best quarterbacks in madden he would get 99 speed 99 throw power he'd, nine, he'd get close to like 97 throw deep 99 throw short he'll have like a 95 throw mid 99 throw under pressure 99 throw in the run 99 play action the card would be a glitch i think he probably ends up with a 90 speed 
personally, which still isn't bad. But when he ends up when he ends up at 90 speed, you're better off with a Vic, you're better off with Lamar Jackson. But this Cam Newton will not be bad. Maybe it'll even be cheap enough at a discount. But guys, that pretty much is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The third golden ticket I will not predict because it, it, it would be EA created. Like I could have never guessed Troy Polamalu middle linebacker. So we're gonna have to wait and see, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are new, make sure to subscribe down below if you enjoyed today's video or you've been enjoying the content. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Like the video. Helps me out tremendously, guys. And comment down below if you have any other predictions to add. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.